book Why We Sleep it appears author Matthew Walker sleep the most non-product thing we do we spent a third of our lives motionless after we can grasp things that were done but if you'll be able to see what your brain want to hump while you slept you see that not only sleep he may be more productive a productive thing you are doing all day long author and physician Matthew Walker has it he studied sleep for over 20 years and he found it over an entire night out sleeping our minds move between three types of deep sleep light sleep and rapid eye movement also referred to as a dream of sleeping every 90s minutes we move through these three the stages of sleep but not all sleep the cycle is that the same as once you go to sleep the first 90 minutes is usually sleep deep sleep when staying up late it's usual to observe a movie or browse internet you sacrifice hugely part of your deep sleep that night this is something you will regret you can consider deep sleep like e delivery service during your day mailroom collects this mail packages your room may be a temporary hippocampus firm space for storing in your mind they are bits of data that you simply have learned during the day sort of a person's name or new business process steps when you come in deep sleep to start out with fleet delivery and startup trucks deliver the parcel from your mail room permanent titles on your mind outside the hippocampus but if you or you decide to remain up and skip the first two hours of your regular regimen a sleep schedule you may fail to induce parcels to their intended destination and the contents of these packages may get lost forever because it's right after deep sleep is that the period of sunshine sleep sleeping like cleaning the mail room staff her job is to clear the hippocampus on a daily basis because it's after existence awake for 16 hours is tough for him the hippocampus should hold on to anything new information for this reason after you are staying up late to read a textbook for you you often end up reading the identical thing a paragraph again and again to fail understand light sleep information it refreshes your mind the ability to find out new facts to prove it walker invited two groups of scholars in his lab one group of scholars had just withdrawn all night and another set of the students got a full night's sleep around noon he made them study the identical a bunch of facts so i allow them to twig two full nights sleep after monday a full night's sleep test what quantity facts they'll remember a sleep deprived group didn't tumble enough light sleep and clean the hippocampus the night before learning 40% fewer facts are called the difference between a and f most our light sleep at the tip of our lives regular sleep schedules which means waking up early to review is truly early waking and counterproductive get only five to six hours of sleep it severely impairs your ability to find out new information and if you come to life often earlier than usual say 5 within the morning when you usually awaken at 7 o'clock within the morning you also lose a majority from your rapid eye movement stands for rapid eye movement if you would like to shoot you will see yourself during REM sleep eyeballs move quickly under your eyes eyelids look as if you were messy if you shoot the remainder of the files you won't see anything because it's during REM sleep is that the remainder of your body totally paralyzed to elucidate what it occurs in your brain during paradoxical sleep let's use another analogy for deep sleep it is like the program that stores the handwritten notes I wrote during today during a permanent cloud base a note taking system like Evernote afterward reem is just like the program he goes through these notes within the cloud bring them together edit it and produce a story that you just can do understand when rem enters your sleep the mind begins to figure in a trial to form sense of a meaning for what happened during the day to try and do it makes connections between newly stored and pre-stored information information of contacts made by it's often weird and something you'll never do think about it while you're awake the results often an original Search for the book this suggests awakening with outline the following chapter in mind for businessmen. This implies awakening with a new product strategy for scientists. This implies awakening with a perfect experience in mind and for musicians mean awakening with perfect melody in mind. Actually the singer-songwriter Paul McCartney has been known to awaken with the whole melody for yesterday is on his mind and I think some other person wrote a song. But Rame Sleep doesn't provide only creative insights it also provides emotional sights. Walker explains that the dreams we had during REM act as a style of therapy within the book he says. Consider your childhood memories and check out to recollect a number of your strongest memories. Most of those memories are going to be memories of an emotional nature, a very frightening experience of separating from your parents or nearly crashing into a car within the street, 
But also note that your recollection of these detailed memories is not any longer in the midst of the identical degree of emotion that was present at the time of the experience you probably did not forget the memory but you bought obviate the emotional charge, or a minimum of an excellent deal of it you see without dreams we were all experiencing chronic PTSD dreams that prompted us to fret for moments so we are able to move past this anxiety and move forward together with her life if you are inquiring a bitter breakup or trigger rapid eye movements sleep cycles that may facilitate your move from on despair from hope if deep sleep improves our ability to recall information, and lightweight sleep improves our ability to find out new information. Paradoxical sleep improves our ability to know that information and any feelings related to this information, if we fail to urge complete information night sleep for a full 7 to 9 hours of sleep and lose any a part of our deep light or paradoxical sleep, we are going to remember little learn less and understand much less without a full night's sleep. It's impossible to be better ourselves, so to confirm we get who 7 to 9 full hours of sleep nightly, night sleep should be our beloved priority during the day, which is why a day I sleep scheduled in my calendar and that I treat it because the most vital meeting of the day to be ready for that meeting and sleep and sleep deep at the identical time daily. I've got built night habits supported two pillars permanently sleep in dark and funky hygiene when your brain detects light and particularly the blue spectrum in light which is suppressed by the discharge of melatonin and this can be not good because melatonin triggers your first sleep cycle and provides the initial boost you wish for deep sleep. I used to be shocked to be told that tiny light sources like an iPad or a bedside lamp have such a profound effect that a melatonin study found that reading a book on an iPad inhibited melatonin by 50% over reading a printed book. A study found another is that a bedside lamp with only 1-2% to of daylight power may reduce melatonin by 50% which is why after I sun goes down I perform the subsequent rituals first, I wear blue light blocking glasses, you'll buy a pair of them on Amazon for $15, it doesn't facilitate your see better. It simply filters out most of the blue light that hits your eyes so you'll watch TV or get on your phone in the dark without severely affecting your sleep half an hour before bed. Start reading a book printed under a red light it emits almost no blue light, then when it's bedtime, I wear a sleeping mask for complete darkness. The second pillar of excellent sleep hygiene is keeping cool, because the vital sign must drop to to a few degrees Fahrenheit for deep sleep. But it's often it's hard for the body to try and do this when our homes stay within the room that's why I've got programmed my thermostat to lower my home temperature all the way down to 65 degrees Fahrenheit nightly at 9 pm I keep my home at a coffee temperature overnight which ensures an honest quality on the thanks to sleep and right before bed. I also take a hot shower now. This seems counterintuitive but what happens after you take a hot bath or a hot shower is that your body heat goes to the surface of your body then dissipates into the atmosphere as soon as you get out of the shower or bath. Immediately reduce the core temperature to the perfect temperature for sleep. So ultimately specialize in the dark and cold before bed to urge a full 7 to 9 hours of sleep so you'll reap the advantages of all three styles of sleep once you bear deep sleep light sleep and slumber, you it strengthens your memory your ability to find out and your ability to know complex problems and live through emotional setbacks that were the first message I gathered from Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. I never thought a book on sleep would be so cool, but this book I highly recommend if you like this video, please share as was common. Thanks for watching.